Good morning, children. Praise the Lord. We meet again today. Stay happy and healthy in this new day. Before we start our activities, let us start the day with a meditation with God's word this morning. And today, let's continue our adventure to know God's creation from God's amazing grace and book. And this morning, we will hear a cry for help. Before we proceed, shall we start with a prayer? Thank you, Lord, for the new day. Now we are ready to listen to your words. May your Holy Spirit be within us to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from Psalm chapter 28, verse 2. It says, Hear my cry for your favor when I call out to you for help. Children, Cindy and Vance were so excited when they brought home a young Michael for a pet. They imagined that the brightly colored bird would be saying words in no time. They gave Caesar, as they named him, some time to settle into his new home, then started slowing repeating easy phrases. In return, Caesar whistled and occasionally squawked loudly. A few more weeks of whistling and squawking, and Caesar began to mumble. He repeated the jumbled mumble over and over again, but none of the sounds made sense, so Cindy and Vance gave up and just enjoyed his mumbles, whistles, and squawks. A few months later, the couple came home to hear Caesar speaking. Help me! Please somebody help me! He said clearly. His first words and he wants someone to rescue him. Van said to Cindy. They listened as the Mecca repeated his plea for help. Then they heard something else. A faint voice that came from outside. Please help me! Someone out there was clearly calling for help. While Cindy called 911, Vance put on his coat, grabbed a flashlight, and went outside. He followed the voice down the street to an old warehouse. Inside was an elderly man who had fallen and could not get up. Soon an ambulance arrived. As the injured man was treated by rescue workers, Vance taught him about the miracle. Because Vance and Cindy listened to Caesar, a man's life was saved. Children, our Savior, Jesus, always listens to us when we call for help, even if we just whisper. Children, this is the end of our morning worship, and today's message is when he heard a voice asking for help, Caesar, a small bird that was sensitive, then forwarded the message to his master. Children, our Lord Jesus always listens to our voices, even when we ask for help, or even when we can only whisper. Children, if any of us need help, come to God for help. Even in a whisper, God will hear all our requests. So, 
come to Him in your prayers today and convey to Him all your needs. He is Jesus, who is a loving God and will hear and answer your prayers. May the Lord bless and protect all of the children on this wonderful day. Amen.